Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. We've made it halfway through the week and to the last day of August. Now, of course, this morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Don't forget that TipRank's premium subscriptions are now available on a monthly basis. So if you've been thinking of unlocking some fantastic research tools, now is a great time to do so. Head over to the website through the link below. Now let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are in the green this morning. Currently, Dow futures are up 0.12%, S&P 500 futures up 0.26%, and Nasdaq futures up 0.63%. In their endeavor to expand manufacturing in the United States, First Solar is planning to invest $1.2 billion. The company aims to set up a new 3.5 gigawatts direct current manufacturing facility in the southwest region of the U.S., spending about $1 billion. They'll spend an additional $185 million to upgrade and grow their Northwest Ohio manufacturing unit as well. They expect the operations of their new manufacturing facility to begin in 2025. With their stock seeing solid growth this past month, the first solar stock has already outpaced many analyst price targets. It's currently rated a moderate buy, and the most recent price targets come in with an upside of 36 to 43 percent. Bed Bath & Beyond is on the move once again. This time, their stock has fallen about 18% currently in the pre-market after they filed an S3 with the SEC for a shelf offering. Though the company did not specify how many shares it would sell, in the filing they said they plan to offer, issue, and sell shares of their common stock from time to time. This filing comes at the same time that Bed Bath & Beyond is supposed to unveil their new turnaround strategy. That announcement is expected later today and obviously could send the stock moving once again in either direction. Analysts have consistently not been fans of these meme stocks and do rate this one a strong sell with an average downside of 70%. Shares of Snapchat parent company Snap are falling in the pre-market on the report that they plan to lay off about 20% of their nearly 6,500 employees. The Verge reported that the layoffs have been planned for the past several weeks and will begin today, hitting some departments harder than others. They said that the team working on ways for developers to build mini apps and games will be severely impacted. The layoffs should not come as a big surprise as it has been a tough year for Snap, with their stock down about 80% this year. Back in May, they did say that they would slow hiring and look ways to cut costs. Analysts currently rate the Snap stock a hold with an average upside of 43%, while most recent ratings come in with fairly flat price targets. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. In the after hours last night, we did hear from ChargePoint. Though they did disappoint on earnings, the rest of the report seemed to offset that as the stock is up slightly in the pre-market. ChargePoint reported a loss per share at $0.28, cents, missing the $0.22 cent estimated loss by analysts. However, revenue did come in stronger than expected, and they also reaffirmed their guidance for the rest of the year. Their revenue came in at $108 million, which grew 93% year-over-year and ahead of the consensus estimates of $103 million. For Q3, they're projecting revenue of $125 to $135 million, which would imply 100% year-over-year growth at the midpoint. Analysts currently rate the stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 30%. Falling in the pre-market this morning is online pet marketplace Chewy. They cut their future revenue forecasts. They're now predicting revenue for the next quarter to be between $2.44 to $2.46 billion, below the analyst expectations of $2.57 billion. For this quarter, they reported revenue of $2.43 billion, below the expected $2.45 billion. Analysts do currently rate the stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 27%. And last night, we also heard from CrowdStrike, who beat expectations on both earnings and revenue. Adjusted earnings per share came in at $0.36, cents, beating the estimates of $0.28 cents per share. Their sales increased 58% year-over-year, having revenue hit $535.2 million compared to $337 million the year before and outpacing analyst expectations. The stock is currently rated a unanimous strong buy with an average upside of 22%. While the pre-market this morning is fairly quiet, we did hear from designer brands who outpaced on both earnings and revenue. 
They reported earnings per share of $0.62 on revenue of $859.3 million, beating the estimates of $0.51 per share and revenue of $838.7 million. Revenue grew 5% year-over-year. Also in the pre-market this morning, we'll be hearing from Express, Burning Rock Biotech, and Chico's. In the after hours today, we'll be hearing from MongoDB, C3AI, Five Below, and Okta. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are from a company named Braze. I wasn't able to find any distinct news behind the gains, though they may just be recovering from some declines earlier this week. Under the ticker BRZE, the stock is up about 7.5%. They're followed by Marathi Therapeutics under MRTX, up nearly 6%, and Absolera Biologics under ABCL, up 5.4%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Chewy after they lowered their revenue forecasts. Under the ticker CHWI, the stock is down about 11.7%. They're followed by Ambarella under the ticker AMBA, down 8.2%, and Snap under the ticker SNAP, down 7.7%. So that is going to be everything for Wednesday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. Don't forget to follow us over on TikTok under the username TipRanks and help us get to that 10,000 follower point. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you back here next time.